Welcome back to Fun Fiero. I'm Andy. I'm Liz. I'm Morgan. We are here at Disneyland for our final day. I'm sad to leave. Yes, we're all sad to leave because this is the happiest place on earth. First, we're going to be having some dinner at the Plaza Inn. It's the modified character breakfast with Minnie and her friends. I can't wait to see what that's going to be like. And I really hope I get some gluten free Mickey waffles. Come along with us as we enjoy a hearty breakfast and an awesome last day here at Disneyland. Can't wait to share it all with you guys. Let's, Let's go, go have some fun. Yeah. <laughs> We checked into the Plaza Inn. And this is our card, and because I have an allergy, it's on this bright yellow card. Can't miss me. Upon checking in, you actually get to meet Minnie Mouse. So we get to go check her out and say hi. It's a great way to start off Disneyland. And she is the hostess with the most. Is. I like you like my hair. Thank you for having us today. So when you first walk in, beautiful chandelier, the smells of breakfast through the air, very much reminds me a little bit of the Crystal Palace at Walt Disney World. All right, so you got the drink station over here and get your OJ or cranberry juice, Coke, fountain drinks, coffee over here. And then of course you got the whole breakfast lineup. So let's go see what we got. All right, it's Saturday morning. So we're getting Liz a cup of coffee. She always likes her coffee on Saturday morning. Okay, so apparently uh, they do like a march through, so Minnie's friends are gonna come through here. There's Pluto right there. Oh my, and Tigger. Oh my goodness, look at this. Hey, good boy. Hey, Tigger, how about a bounce? This is a happy morning. I did not expect this. This is great. Pluto, Tigger, Chip, and Dale. That was an awesome, and Minnie in the front. That was an awesome way to start this breakfast. And I'm getting gluten free Mickey Mouse waffles. What, what? All right, so we're gonna film Morgan getting her breakfast and then I'm just gonna go back through and grab mine because it's probably gonna be pretty similar except I'm definitely getting bacon and she's definitely not. Because this is the pastry bar right here. Some fresh fruit, nice pineapple. So they kind of serve you. You just tell them what you want. Oh, gonna start with some scrambled eggs. And I see some biscuits and gravy down here. Oh yeah, that's my girl, biscuits and gravy. We have sausage, looks like some fried chicken. And of course, if you guys want cereal, um, you can pick up your milk right over here. And then they have cereal right there. So it took me a little while, but I've got my breakfast now. Obviously, eggs, bacon, sausage, biscuits and gravy, but check this out. So I've got Mickey waffles. I saw a woman in line do this and she got Bananas Foster on there. I've never had Bananas Foster for breakfast and I've never had it on Mickey waffles. I've never had it on waffles. So this is gonna be awesome. All right, let's just see if I can, you know what? I gotta start with the ear, right? It's Mickey food, you gotta start with the ear. All right, here we go. That's the best Mickey waffle I've ever had. These are different friends. I'm a Pluto's bag, you know Pluto. Pooh. Oh, we love you, Pooh. Bouncy, bouncy, Tigger. Hello, Chip, hello, Dan, hello. We love you. Yeah. All right, one last walk through. Here we go. And just for a moment, through the castle. There are all these little awesome touches that make it Disney everywhere. And it's like things like this that you find, they're always at Walt well, Disney World too, right? I mean, you can look everywhere and find all these amazing just details. Here, we're experiencing them for the first time and really discovering them, and that's so super special. Best remove them. Another time through Indiana Jones. And this time, maybe we can do it without actually looking into the eyes of Mara. Another amazing time on Indy. Oh. That is just a, such a fun ride. The only thing I have to kind of like base it off of, or you know, was thinking of is like Dinosaur at Walt Disney World at the Animal Kingdom, but this is just so much more themed. 
uh, and intense. I do like the story of Dinosaur, but this is just, there's real fire in there. I'll just tell you that. Holy smokes, guys, look. I didn't think we'd get to see it, but there it is. That's the Columbia. Look at that. I don't know if that goes as well as the Mark Twain, but that is so cool to see. Look at that. That is a really neat ship. And on our last day, I don't know if we're gonna get to ride it, but that is so neat looking. This is as close as I'm getting to Pirates of the Caribbean, unfortunately. Joining us, you're listening to the world famous bootstrappers. You missed that part. If you've been here all along, you're still listening to the world famous bootstrappers. <laughs> that part. Those guys, they were marching out by their restrooms over by where you get the beignets. We, we were eating a churro, Morgan and I were. Uh, imagine that, Disneyland churros. But they told Morgan that, uh, that she was eating it upside down. <laughs> Super fun and really great performers. I just love it. Like, you know, the, the kind of the impromptu entertainment's coming back. I love it. Another time into Tomorrowland before we leave, we are going to Buzz Lightyear's Astro Blasters. And this is the line for it for the standby. Luckily, we do have a lightning lane for uh, Disney Genie Plus, and it's our return time. I'm kind of wondering if it's the same as like Buzz Lightyear's spin. Here's the remnants of an old, old people mover. Standby is 55 minutes, if you guys can see. And then here's the lightning lane entrance. The robots and his secret weapon and blasters. Gray Squadron will retrieve the power cells while the rest of you concentrate on those robots. Buzz has made our mission very clear. I think we can accomplish this. How good can we do? I don't know. We just have to give it our all. So on these, you actually hold the guns. Okay. Hey, Liz, what do you got? So not bad for filming. Morgan, how'd you do? All right. Liz and I both agree. It is definitely harder holding the guns than it is with them stationary. Now we're gonna have some lunch here at Jolly Holiday Bakery Cafe. We haven't eaten here yet, and this is definitely a staple for Disneyland. So we're gonna do it. Also, Liz was able to find a table, and Morgan were able to find a table, literally, right here. Thanks, Liz. Here, And then, you get to just kind of look out on everything. Guys, this is Morgan's grilled cheese sandwich, or toasted cheese, rather. Look at that, look at it just pouring over. What did you get, Liz? I got the gluten-free bun, cheese, and tomato soup. Gluten-free tomato soup? Gluten -free all right. tomato soup. Oh, look, did you guys just see the stringiness of that? See how it just pulled up? Oh, okay, no. you just tasted the cheese. What'd you think of that? Oh, the cheese is good. Okay, here we go. Grilled cheese and tomato soup, and? The bun's really good too. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. So, a win on gluten-free, guys. Yeah, it is a win on gluten-free. Look at that, yummy. Yeah, man, it's, it's crusty on the outside, but it's nice and soft on the, I mean, super soft on the inside. Oh, I love so it. So good. I got some, uh, looks like homemade potato chips, and I got a fried bologna sandwich, so I like fried stuff. <laughs> I like toasted bread. It's definitely toasted bologna. You got the, the mustard and mayonnaise mix in there. You've got the pickles, all good things, all things that I like. Let's give it a whirl and see what we think. Liz made an awesome point. She said the bologna looks fried. So there you go. The, the bologna is fried, but just not the sandwich isn't fried. Sorry, I've, I've, after eating the, uh, the, the Monte Cristo, I'm like, everything's fried. All right, but here we go. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure that's sourdough bread. You guys, it's amazing. I told Liz, I said, this is either going to be full on win or it's going to be a disaster. This was definitely a really good choice for lunch. I love it. it all the flavors are there, but you know, if you like bologna, and actually, if you're like on the fence with bologna, this is actually really good at being fried. For dessert, Morgan got the Matterhorn macaroon. I know, man, it's got the Matterhorn icing on it. All right, I just, I want to know, how is it? It's good. 
It's really dense though. That's the macaroon for you. What did we get for dessert, Liz? We got a gluten-free chocolate chip cookie, which is oh. like ginormous and huge. Is it is it like chewy or is it crunchy? It's chewy. I like it. It's got tons and tons and tons of chocolate chips in it. I like that too. One last time, you know, for science. Mr. Toe's Wild Ride. I'm excited. It's a classic, right? You gotta pay tribute to the classics. It's one of our last rides of the day. Not the last ride, though. No, no. And away we go. Morgan's driving. Thank you, that is all. <laughs> to redeem our Disney Genie Plus. It says redeem, we're good to go. 363 is the time, it's 315 to 415. You just hit redeem. And now, we're gonna take you guys along as we swipe it in the machine, let's go. Put it in, make sure everybody in your party's there. Super easy, we're done. Appears we have a satellite receiver here. <laughs> Disney Genie Plus, really super easy to use. You find that lightning lane, you redeem your pass, you scan in the machine, and if you get more people, just keep swiping until you're all checked in. Start towards 1401, you are cleared for departure. We need a proper pilot. This is Okay, Star Tours was awesome. As always, new scene from last time, but this is gonna be really cool, guys. Now we get to go on another ride. You guys haven't seen us do the monorail yet? Now we're gonna do the Disneyland monorail. Here we go. Our last ride here is gonna be the monorail. Now the monorail's gonna take us from Disneyland Resort to downtown Disney. The app says every five minutes it runs, and it's gonna be a bittersweet ride. We are on the monorail. The windows are open, fresh breeze. Smell of Autopia. Mmm. Exhaust. Oh, there's Space Mountain. We are off the monorail now. It was a short ride to downtown Disney. I keep wanting to call it Disney Springs, but that's just the <laughs> East Coaster and me. Downtown Disney, booyah. Yeah. So called Disney Springs, downtown Disney. Oops. <laughs> we had an amazing time at Disneyland today. We had an amazing time at Disney California Adventure. This trip has been amazing. And unfortunately, the monorail was our last ride. For this visit, this is not going to be our last time to Disney. And if you guys will, if you've enjoyed this, please give it a big thumbs up and share it. Let's go ahead and ding that notification bell. That way you're going to know every time we go live or we put up a video. If you haven't checked out all the other videos, go check those out. We hope you guys enjoyed 
enjoyed it. We love sharing it with you. Making memories with Disney is just so much fun. We'll never forget them. So until next time, get out there, have some fun, and, and we'll, we'll see you on the flip side. side. Please remain seated until your boat comes to a complete stop at the dock and you are asked to disembark. Thank you.